Hi Libra, welcome to your singles reading who's coming towards me for October. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. This is a new series I'm introducing to the channel. And this is for singles who's coming towards you. We'll look at who they may be, what their energy may be like, how, when, uh, where you might meet this person, what kind of connection it will be, advice, we'll clarify with tarot. Sort of like a fun reading. So I'll be doing these monthly. If you do like this, please give me some feedback. Please do comment, like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. Be greatly appreciated. And I'm also introducing another new series to the channel. And it's spirit guide messages or uh, messages from your spirit uh, team or whatever you like to call it. So I will also be introducing that also. So uh, four different readings now a month. I'll still be doing the love connection readings and the general readings, and now these singles readings, and messages from your spirit guides. So, something for everybody. So please give me some feedback. If you do like it, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post all the new readings so you don't miss out on that. And if you do, thank you so much. Thank you to everybody for all your support. Really doesn't mean a lot to me. And the channel's growth, being a part of that, I truly love to do this for you guys. So any support you give me, the channel, is greatly, greatly appreciated. Getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So the more you like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff, the more we can circulate uh, the messages. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So I guess we'll just get started here. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but if it comes to me, then I'll just say it. But um, I hope everybody's doing well, and happy fall, happy Halloween. All right, so... Libra singles. Libra singles. Who's coming towards a Libra? Who's coming towards Libra singles? October or any time after that. So we'll get a couple signs here. See what we get for Libra. Can we have a couple signs for Libra? Well, we got Jupiter, which I believe is Sagittarius. Yep. So that's Sagittarius. And we need one more, one more for Libra singles who may be coming towards them. Just let me take that one. And we have Virgo. So we have Sagittarius and Virgo. So Virgo is Earth, Sagittarius is fire. Libra. So those are two signs right there. All right, so now I want to look into this possible person coming towards you, uh, their energy. What kind of person will they be? What will their energy be like? What will this person's energy be like that Libra may run into, may have coming towards them? Spirit, please. What is the energy of this person for Libra singles? Libra singles for October. What is the energy of this person? We have one card for Libra. What is the energy of this person? Coming into Libra, please. Can we have one card for Libra singles? Thank you. All right. We have, oh, failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So this person... I hope they uh, don't feel like a failure or it's somebody here that um, is not afraid to conquer their failures and sees it as an, a learning opportunity to grow and expand from any kind of failures. So we'll clarify with um, Tarot with that one. Clarify a lot of them with Tarot. So. I don't know. Hopefully this person isn't in a, in a low vibration and they're feeling like depressed and uh, like a failure type of energy. So hopefully that's not the energy they're in or they're just somebody who conquers their failures and strives to, to become better. And they use it as a learning experience to just grow and flourish to become better. So we'll see. We'll see. So let's look into a time frame of when you might meet this person. So we have the Four of Cups energy, which is summer. So we just went through summer, so this may not be till next summer. Unfortunately, but <laughs> that is the time frame I got. So maybe next summer, if 
cups cups represent summer so I'm just taking like the time frame of that card um, for the summertime all right if I feel like I need to read the cards meaning if it if it um, pertains to the reading in any way I will but right now I'm just taking that as a um, time period which is summer all right so let's see now where you can meet this person Libra where could Libra meet this possible person where could they meet this person well we got two but this one fell out first so we have options consider the career possibilities that are open to you and we have nutrition you conduct healing work with your culinary skills so some of you may actually be a chef um, or you may meet them in a restaurant um, but this says career and this says nutrition so some of you might actually work like in a uh, grocery store you may actually work um, in a restaurant or somewhere where there's uh, food culinary and this is career so something pertaining to your career it could be a restaurant you frequent um, after work or before work or something like that so something around your career and something where there's food involved whether it's a store a restaurant or something like that so I don't usually take two but I think for that one I will all right so let's look at how so we got the where somewhere around your work environment Either you do work in somewhere where there's uh, food involved or someplace you frequent um, in your work uh, routine or something like that, like before work, after work, or something like that. It could be some place that you eat or frequent or even a coffee shop or a grocery store or something like that. All right, so let's see how, how you may meet this person, how we need this person fill the well hmm so I see here like people carrying buckets of water so it could you know you could be a coffee shop you know or something like that I'm just taking looking at these buckets they look more like cups so it could be like a coffee shop, you know, maybe you stop to get a bottle of water or a cup of coffee or something and you're in line. Maybe you're behind this person or you get in line at the same time and you, you know, maybe a long line and you kind of strike up a conversation and uh, there's a little spark there. All right. So, so I'm getting like in line either at the grocery store I'm not going to take fill the well. I'm going to just look at the line of people. So I think you're going to be in line, meet this person in line, either coffee shop, restaurant, grocery store, or something like that. Either before work, after work, or if you do work um, in a grocery store or a coffee shop or a restaurant, maybe you're you know, going to wait on them or seat them or something like that. Or maybe you're even the waitress or you help them in some way. And that's how you meet them. All right, so Libra, what kind of connection could this be for you if you pursue this connection with this person, this possible person coming into you? What kind of connection will this be for Libra? Singles for October. Thank you. Wedding. Well, now the situation involves marriage. <laughs> Oh my God, this may be your future spouse or hopefully this person isn't married. You don't want to be a third party. <laughs> We're going to clarify that. <laughs> so that's either a third party situation or this connection could lead into a future marriage. Wow. Or just a high level of uh, commitment. Okay. So let's get some uh, like advice, extra clarity for you Libra singles. What else with this connection, this incoming person for Libra? 
What else do we have for Libra for this possible incoming connection? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What else do we have for Libra? Singles. All right, let's take these two. So we have light, let your light shine. And we have soul family. So this definitely could be a soulmate. You could be of the same soul tribe. You could have that instant connection and really feel like a soulmate energy. And this is let your light shine. This is being <clears throat> authentic and true to who you are and just letting yourself be who you are. So you might, you know, feel real comfortable with this person and they may feel like an instant soulmate where you both can just shine your light towards one another. You know, heal one another. You can be yourself with one another. Um, just be very authentic with one another. And this is also telling you to be in that energy, to be very authentic. Be, don't be afraid to be who you are and just let yourself shine. Wow. Be your true self. And definitely soul family here. I'm definitely getting soulmate energy here. Wow. And you see the big heart lit up there. Wow. Okay. I don't think I'm going to pull another one there. So let's clarify some of these cards for you, Libra. Singles, who's coming towards you. Let's clarify, clarify. Let's clarify failure. I want to know what that's about. I want to know what that is about for this incoming person, their energy with failure. What is that about? What is that about for this incoming person, for Libra singles, spirit please? What is this failure for their energy? Can we clarify? What is that about, please, spirit? Thank you so much for Libra singles. What is this energy? And that's way too many, but we'll take that one. All right, so we have the seven of wands. So this is being defensive on guard, you know, fighting fighting for yourself, standing up for yourself. So this person, I think, isn't afraid to face adversity, isn't afraid to face their challenges and their failures. And to just, you know, stand up for themselves, take charge of the situation, and um, better themselves. And they have a lot of fiery, passionate energy. You know, wands are, is a very fiery, passionate energy. So, so I see someone here not afraid to challenge their failures to become better to learn and grow from those experiences and not afraid to keep fighting and moving on from their failures so that's a good energy i was afraid it was somebody that's gonna be like depressed and feeling like a failure but no and, you know maybe they just experienced a failure in their life too i mean they could have been recently divorced they could have lost their job or, or something like that and um that kind of made them feel like a failure, but I feel like, you know, that they overcome their challenges. So that is a good energy. You see a lot of red in that um, card. So that's like love and that's like passion and fire. And a lot of green is that stability, uh, monetary, a hot chakra energy also. And then the purple manifesting. So, you know, they can manifest new things in their life. They have a big open heart, a lot of love and abundance. Security, stability, bringing that back into their life, no matter what failures they've gone through. So that's a nice energy. Okay, so we have, all right, so I'll say let's clarify cups for the time frame and the six of cups fell out. So definitely here, two cards of cups, so that is definitely summer. So let's see. What? So... We have the chariot now to clarify, um, like, where you may meet this person. And I do have, like, like water energy here. So, I mean, maybe, you know, you see, it looks like the ocean. Well, it is the ocean because you have a whale there. So, this is the animal tarot, so that's why it looks different. So, maybe, you know, you live near the water because you do see, like, scenery here, like ocean scenery. So, maybe you live near the ocean, too. Maybe you work near the ocean. Maybe you work at like an oceanside restaurant or grocery store or something. Or there's a coffee shop you frequent near the ocean. Maybe you work near the ocean. Whatever here. And that's really clarifying that. So 
I definitely feel like for some of you that live near water, it doesn't have to be the ocean. Maybe it's by a stream, a river, a lake, or something like that. Um, or, you know, water energy. Maybe you're just buying a bottle of water or, or something like that at a grocery store. All right, so fill, well, fill the well, but I'm taking a line, like you'll be standing in line with this person in some way. Or, you know, maybe they're in line and you're, you're either going to um, wait on them or help them or catch them out or seat them to a table or something like that. So let's see what uh, we can clarify. Let's see what we get. Let's see if it makes sense. The Knight of Swords. So... And that's your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So this is an action card. This is someone kind of like a reckless energy. So maybe they come barging in the line and they're wanting, maybe they're wanting even to cut you in line. <laughs> because this is a very reckless kind of energy uh, with a knight of swords. So maybe they're in a hurry. They come rushing in and they're in a hurry and they try to cut in the line. And you're like, hey, wait a minute, buster. <laughs> you know, and, and you start like, you know, maybe it starts off, you know, kind of like, not yelling at them, but kind of saying, hey, you know, what are you doing? You know, you're cutting me or you're cutting the line. And maybe it starts off as a little, you know, bickery thing. But then maybe, you know, you laugh about it after and, you know, the connection happens. So Knight of Swords is a reckless energy. They come barging in. So they may come barging in in a hurry, want to get their stuff, want to cash out. They try to cut through the line, you know, and I think you're going to have something to say about that. So for the connection here, we have wedding. So what is that about? What is that about? For Libra, the Hierophant. Wow. And this just fell out right here. And I don't know if you've seen it and I put it back. And it's coming out again, the Hierophant. I was worried, possible third party, or maybe this person's a player. But no, the Hierophant. This definitely could lead to, in the future, a high level of commitment or even marriage for some of you guys. This could be your potential soulmate and what may start out as like, oh, this guy's an asshole or is a jerk, come barging in, rushing in, trying to get, because you see the chariot here, like two energies of like rushing, trying to cut the line or trying to whatever here. And you're like, oh my God, this person's an asshole. And then all of a sudden, then there's a connection. <laughs> you know, asshole to a connection to a soulmate, to marriage, or high level commitment. Wow. And I got two here, like the two keys, so it may happen, like over, with the Six of Cups energy here, also Six of Cups is also soulmate energy. Soulmate energy here with the Six of Cups. So I'm seeing like two to six years where you may meet this person. Well, I'm not saying you're going to meet them in two years, but you know, you may date, date and then gradually uh, commit and be in a relationship and then maybe get engaged get married could be like a six-year process so some of you could be married within the next six years all right so let's see here for your advice we have let your light shine and soul family definitely feel soulmate energy and being able to be yourself with one another, you know, yourself with them, being authentic and true to who you are, uh, kind of energy. And we, I just noticed here we have four and five is nine and three and six is nine. So this is like a wish come true, dream come true, joy and happiness. So what, what else can we clarify? So we got the three of swords energy. Oh, so there's, I was worried about third party heartache, pain, and this is the three of swords, which can be about third parties in some way, energy, and a lot of heartache and pain with the three of swords energy. So it could be that both of you, one of you maybe just, you know, ended a very painful, hurtful um, relationship or something like that. Doesn't necessarily have to be a third party, but... Um, I don't know. So, I don't know. Let's Why is the Three of Swords here for this? Why is the Three of Swords here for this? Wow, it's way too many. Let's take this one. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. Some of you may have ended something very painful, whether it was a marriage or a long-term commitment or something. 
uh, or going through something very hurtful and painful and now being very stable, grounded and independent. Nine of Pentacles is a stable single energy. So coming out of something here that was very hurtful and painful and now standing on your own two feet and uh, being very stable and grounded. All right, so what else? All right, so is there anything else? Is there anything else for these two cards of advice? The nine of wands. So yeah, been through a hard battle. Been through it, you, them, the both of you in the past, I feel. Been through a hard struggle. This is the wounded warrior. You have two nines here. So definitely been through it, ended painful cycles, because the nine is almost at the end of a completion, but now both being very stable, grounded on your own, staying on your own two feet, feeling like maybe you had a lot in common once you get to know each other, that you both went through very similar paths, and that's also which, which also connects you with the wedding too. I feel like for some of you, could have been even divorced or something like that. And now you meet this person and unexpectedly in the future, all of a sudden you're marrying again. And you have may even said, I'm never going to marry again. And then you run into your soulmate. <laughs> yeah, death. Okay. Confirming here, ending painful, hurtful situations here, moving on, becoming single, becoming um, stronger, dependent on your own, but now willing to work together, collaborating with somebody new. Yep, because now we have no stress, anxiety, worry over this new connection. Maybe being a little mentally trapped with the Eight of Swords energy, but here's the divinely guided cup of love. Brand new beginning in love, divinely guided. Happiness, joy, fulfillment, love and emotions. All divinely guided energy there. Wow, Libra. Okay, if you enjoy this, like I said, please, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I'll be uh, releasing the uh, spirit guide messages probably um, within the next week. So please keep um, look out for that. Thank you so much. And sending you uh, lots of light, love, and blessings. Wishing you the best of luck. And as I always, always say with my channel, just like this card here, is to always, always shine your light.